The Jersey Wooly is a popular rabbit renowned for its playful and docile nature. These rabbits love affection and attention, and always enjoy snuggling on their keepers' laps. They are also one of the most commonly exhibited rabbits in national and local shows in the US. The Jersey Wooly is a surprisingly low-maintenance breed, despite its thick coat. It only needs to be brushed once a week, and more often during shedding seasons. The Jersey Wooly is nicknamed the No-Kick Bunny because of its even-tempered nature. Although it's a relatively newer breed, it's really popular in the United States. Once you understand how to take care of a Jersey Wooly, your pet can lead a healthy and happy life in its new home. The Jersey Wooly is one of the most docile rabbits. It's a popular show rabbit because of its thick, angora-like coat, but it also makes an adorable pet because of its love for human attention and care. The Jersey Wooly is a small rabbit developed by crossing the French Angora and the Netherland Dwarf. The resulting rabbits were made smaller with the influence of the dwarfing gene. Unlike the Angora rabbit, Jersey Woolies do not need to be sheared or trimmed. They're a low-maintenance breed that only needs to be brushed once a week and more often during shedding seasons to avoid the wool block. Jersey Woolies Size and Appearance A fully grown Jersey Woolie weighs around 2.5 to 3.5 pounds. 3 pounds is considered the ideal weight of a mature Jersey Woolie. Jersey Woolie rabbits have a compact, semi-arched body type. They have small and erect ears that measure about 2.5 to 3 inches long. For exhibitions, 3 inches is the maximum length allowed according to the Arba's standard of perfection. For rabbit shows in the US, the head and ears of a Jersey Woolie earn the most points. Jersey Woolie have a squarish and bold head, which is the reason for their popular nickname Mughead. Jersey Woolie's Coat to keep your Jersey Woolies coat tangle and mat free, you need to brush its coat at least once a week during non-shedding seasons. Once spring arrives, you'll need to brush adult Jersey Woolies more often as they tend to shed more during this time. If your rabbit's coat gets dirty, spot clean with a clean, damp cloth. Never give a rabbit a full bath as this can lead to stress and life-threatening cardiac issues. Use rabbit safe clippers or trimmers instead of scissors in case your rabbit's coat gets severely matted and if spot cleaning and detangling doesn't work. Using scissors can accidentally cut your rabbit's sensitive skin, causing stress and fear during grooming. Jersey Woolies Lifespan The average lifespan of this breed depends on many factors, the biggest ones being genetics and quality of care. It's not uncommon for Jersey Woolly rabbits to live anywhere around 7 to 10 years if given proper care. A common myth is that rabbits that have had litters die sooner. This hasn't been proven scientifically. Many Jersey Woolly owners have reported owning healthy rabbits that have had multiple litters and unhealthy Jersey Woolies that have had no litters. Spaying or neutering, coupled with proper health care can expand their lifespan. Unneutered or unspayed rabbits have a higher likelihood of developing life-threatening reproductive system tumors and cancers. Jersey Woolies Behavior and Temperament Jersey Woolies are known for their affectionate and playful nature. As pets, they may range from being laid-back lap rabbits to curious explorers. They're known as no-kick rabbits because they're not aggressive and do not bite or kick their handlers. This makes Jersey Woolies good family pets for individuals with children of any age. However, young children should be supervised when they're handling rabbits, especially small breeds like the Jersey Woolly as they can be highly fragile and easily stressed. They also make remarkable pets for seniors or retirees, first-time pet owners, couples, and singles who'd enjoy a cuddly companion. Jersey Woolies are social rabbits. Therefore, they're happiest when they're in pairs or trios. Some rabbits form inseparable pairs as they're bonded quite closely to one another. If your Jersey Woolly isn't bonded, care should be taken before it is matched with another rabbit. You may have to house your Jersey Woolly separately while it gets to know its new friend. If a Jersey Woolly is kept single, it will need plenty of time and human attention. Human companionship may not be enough to replace the interaction it has with its own kind. Your Jersey Woolly should be given free access to you in your home, whether it involves it following you around in the kitchen, or cuddling with you on the couch. Jersey Woolies to other pets. Jersey Woolies often get along with other household pets. However, because of their small size, you'll have to be extra cautious about their safety. Some cats and dogs have high prey instincts, causing them to act aggressively towards small rabbits. Spaying and neutering. Some rabbits may mark their territory by spraying. This behavior can be suppressed or eliminated with spaying or neutering. Spaying and neutering also make rabbits calmer, resulting in fewer behavioral problems. Your rabbit should be spayed or neutered at 4 to 6 months of age. In addition to curbing behavioral issues, it also eliminates unwanted pregnancy, as well as reproductive system cancer and infections. Exercise and play. Rabbits are most active at daybreak and sunset. The Jersey Woolly is a curious and playful breed and most free-roaming individuals may greet you and your guests at the door. 
Jersey Woolies are highly intelligent and love learning new tricks. They also enjoy chewing and digging. Therefore, it is important that you provide appropriate toys for it to chew on while being on top of its dental health. Examples of rabbit safe toys include an empty roll of toilet paper or a rabbit safe block of wood. You can also find a wide array of mentally stimulating rabbit toys in your local pet store. Anything that your rabbit is not supposed to gnaw on, such as wires and wooden furniture should be protected or kept out of reach. Jersey Woolies enjoy spending time with their owners and getting their attention. Try to spend at least 15 minutes of one-on-one -on -one play time with your pet. They love being handled. Jersey Woolies love being picked up and being petted. Avoid letting young children pick up a Jersey Woolie as improper handling can easily damage its delicate back and cause severe stress. However, not all Jersey Woolies have the same personalities. Occasionally, a Jersey Woolie may not want to be held. If it's not in the mood, it will let you know with a grunt. In such cases, it's best to respect your rabbit's wishes and give it the space it needs. If your once affectionate rabbit suddenly becomes unsociable or aggressive, it may be a sign of an underlying health condition. Consult your vet and look out for other signs that may help your vet diagnose the problem. Litter training. Most rabbits have a potty corner in their cage where they prefer to eliminate. Once you place a litter box in their potty corner, they'll quickly make a connection and start eliminating it there. You may have to confine your rabbit to its enclosure until it is completely litter trained. Some owners recommend placing multiple litter boxes around the house so that they don't have to go too far to do their business. Housing and environment. Because of its small size, a Jersey Woolly should only be housed indoors. This will protect them from predators, extreme temperatures, and other outdoor threats. In order for its inquisitive personality to flourish, it will also need outdoor enclosure time and to spend time with its human companions. Your rabbit should be allowed to hop about and play in a rabbit-safe room. Rabbit-proofing a room involves removing or covering any electrical wires. You can also let them roam around outside in a secure, fenced yard under your supervision. Allow your rabbit to roam outside in an area where it can get sunlight and fresh air. Always keep an eye out for predators such as raccoons, snakes, foxes, and neighborhood cats as they can seriously harm a small rabbit. Litter box. It's best to allow your rabbit to use a litter box to make cleanup easier. Place a medium-sized cat litter pan inside your rabbit's cage in an area where it prefers to eliminate. Place fresh hay inside the litter tray, with a layer of bedding under the hay. Rabbit litter boxes need two sides, a bathroom side where it will do its business and a kitchen side where it will nibble hay in the litter box. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.